What is good, y'all? This is JV here, and today I got a reaction for you guys. Now, Blackpink finally is back with Square 2. Uh, two new songs. We got Stay and we got Playing With Fire. Uh, I will be doing reactions to both, but for now, we're checking out Stay. Uh, absolutely loved their debut track, you know, uh, Boom Baya and Whistle. Uh, listen to them fairly regularly. Definitely uh, kind of reinvigorated uh, my excitement and passion for YG releases. Uh, so I'm hoping that, you know, they keep up uh, keep up that stride that they set with their, their initial releases and show themselves to be the formidable force I'm hoping they will be. So let's not waste no more time. Let's get straight into it. Again, we have Blackpink with Stay. Let's go. Yeah, I'm probably Lisa Bias too, but I see a lot of people be Lisa Bias, so I'm thinking about like switching it up. Like maybe like Jisoo or something like that, we don't know. Love the acoustic guitar intro here. Already vocally more ambitious than the other tracks. Love how stripped back the instrumental is so far. It could probably stay like this energy wise the entire time. I'd probably be down with it. Love the emotion behind this. Ooh, you have the strings underneath there? Mm hmm. There's my girl. What is that coat though? <laughs> Ooh, increase the tempo all over here. Loving the vocal presentation on this. The other two tracks were pretty, you know, pop oriented tracks, so the, the vocals weren't showcased that much, but this one I'm loving this. Monica touch there again the instrumentation on this is dope did not expect them to go acoustic on us that's dope now it's, it's not necessarily the banger that their previous releases were and maybe playing with fire is uh, but this is definitely something I could see myself listening to more regularly for sure okay uh huh. Love this. Just the emotion behind it. Deep, you know, soulful string presentation there on the instrumental. Set choices, you know, the street kind of, it almost got kind of like a post-apocalyptic vibe to it. But then it kind of picks up a little bit, got the claps here, it's one of those nice swing little sway track, kumbaya joints around the fire. I'm so glad that they did this though. It shows that they're a versatile group and that, that's what's important. To stick around this game, you got to be able to do more than one thing. YG got something with this, man. If by the end of the year or so, or maybe early into 2017, they could drop like a full-length album or at least a mini-album encompassing some of these tracks, yo, man, I'm in. Not exactly sure what the concept is, and maybe it's like a post-apocalyptic post kumbaya joint. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm with it, man. It makes me super excited to check out the next one. Beautiful vocals. I'm loving this. But again, like, even though it was super emotional, it wasn't solemn by any means. It had an uplifting and hopeful vibe to it. A very light, you know, kind of instrumentation. Uh, the vocal performance on point. Love that, uh... 
that kind of stripped down bare bones rap verse that we got from Lisa on her end. Uh, absolutely love this song. It might be my favorite Blackpink uh, song. Haven't heard the other one. Haven't heard Playing With Fire yet, so we can, we can get there. Uh, but as of right now, this might be my favorite um, you know, Blackpink release just because it's such a different change of pace and what I was hoping them to show that, you know, they got that nice vocal presentation. They could really impact you in a meaningful manner. Uh, so really excited about that. Excited about the next song. Curious as to what your thoughts are on this song. So in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are on the song. What do you think about Blackpink? Uh, out of the two songs, if you've listened to them both, which one's your favorite? I would love to know your thoughts. Till next time, this is JV here. I love you guys. Bye.